Hello, Rochelle here with Calcom PR Graphic Design, where we create graphic designs and help other entrepreneurs solve their problems. And today I'm here to do a quick tutorial about an issue that many of you have, and it deals with stop scripts. It's that pesky little message box that comes up on your browser, especially um, when you're doing research or you're trying to find something and you're on a page for a while and then all of a sudden it just freezes. That's the one I'm talking about. So I had a customer who approached me the other day and said, how, how could they get rid of it? And I said, well, let me go do some research. I have that problem as well. So I did, and I found a cure for it. And so today I'm just going to show you a quick little way. Now I am on Mac, on a Mac, and I am using Firefox. And so that's the cure that I have for, for Firefox browsers. But I will put uh, a description uh, for uh, Internet Explorer users if you have that browser. I'll put the, the description in the box. Uh, below this video so that you can uh, go in and change out your uh, Internet Explorer browser. Um, so, with that said, I am going to get started. So, first thing I'm going to do is open up Firefox. Okay, I already had it open. <laughs> and um, I'm going to go into the address bar and type about colon config and then hit enter and then once this page comes up you're going to click I'll be careful I promise and then you're going to scroll down until you get to dom.max underscore script underscore run run time underscore run time so let's scroll down now i've already done this so i'm just just showing you the steps so you can go and do it let's see And there it is. Dom.max underscore script underscore run underscore time. When you get to that, you're going to change whatever number the, that, that was there and you're going to put zero right there. And then press enter once that happens. And when you do that, you are good to go. And that's all it is. And then what you can do is once you do that, you can go and test out some sites that uh, you were having a problem on. I'll go to one that I was having a problem on. And it was Twitter. And Twitter was one and Cron.com was another one for me. So yeah, basically that's what you do. If you're running Firefox, uh, just go through those steps. I'll put these steps again in, in the description box as well, but it's just that easy. And um, what I would do is just go go to a page that you were normally having a script problem with and just let it, uh, you know, just kind of surf that, that page for about maybe an hour, 30 minutes to an hour, just to see if the script will pop up. And if it doesn't, then you pretty much solve the problem. Okay. And that is all. If you have any other questions or if there's a video that you would like for me to put up or a problem you want solved, uh, check out my website. It's uh, www.calcompr.com and uh, drop me a note or you can just go to my other uh, Fiber page. That's fiber.com forward slash calcompr. Okay. Have a good day and...